2018 Mercedes AMG E63 S Wagon, all hail the unicorn. Mercedes AMG, frankly, doesn't care whether or not everyone gets the idea of a 603 HP station wagon. That's partially because most people can't afford such a wagon and partially because the automaker already has a loyal owner base to tap. Mercedes has told us that its E-Class wagon customers, particularly those who opt for the unhinged AMG model, are its most loyal and also its wealthiest. Once again, the high-performance E63S wagon is expected to be available only by special order when it goes on sale this fall. You have to get it to get it. Got it? Be jealous of these people, and not only for their deep cash reserves. Besides being influential enough to compel Mercedes to continue offering luxury station wagons here even as the world and the rest of Benz's operation embraces crossovers, they're getting a new steed, the 2018 E63S wagon, that is a majestic four-wheeled unicorn. Any Benz wagon, let alone an AMG variant, is a rare sighting. Need we even point out that, among Benz's competitors, only Volvo sends a large wagon to the US, and other high-performance luxury wagons aren't sold here, period. Few uninitiated motorists will even notice the regular wagon, those who pick up on the E63S4 rectangular exhaust outlets jutting from the rear bumper or the enlarged air intakes in the front fascia might simply be confused. To those in the know, however, the E63S wagon represents the pinnacle of under-the-radar high-speed machinery. We think the whole concept is spectacular. Hauling the mail, piles of money, whatever. As before, the E63 wagon stuffs the same go-fast engine, braking, and handling bits that AMG installs on the E63 sedan into a newly gorgeous, long roof body. And once again, the wagon comes only in S-tune with the sedan's more powerful engine option. This time around, that engine is a twin-turbocharged 4.0-liter V8, versus the outgoing 5.5-liter twin-turbo V8, rated at 603 horsepower and 627 lbft of torque. According to Mercedes, its turbo's 21.8 psi of boost blown through the turbos is responsible for its 40 HP and 74 lb foot advantages over the base, non se 63 sedans otherwise identical V8 force fed with 18.9 psi. In combination with all-wheel drive and AMG's 9-speed automatic transmission, which forgoes a traditional torque converter for a wet clutch pack to couple engine and transmission, the Feral engine is claimed to punt the E63S wagon to 60 miles per hour in 3.4 seconds. That's the same time Mercedes quotes for the non-SE63 sedan, the S sedan can do the trick in 3.3, and if it bears any truth would place the E63 in company with the Porsche 911 Carrera and the Chevrolet Corvette Z06. We'd wager that the quoted acceleration time is conservative, a previous generation E63 S wagon we tested hit 60 miles per hour in the same 3.4 seconds and that was with a mere 577 horsepower on tap. The new wagon's top speed is electronically limited to 180 miles per hour, 6 miles per hour faster than before. Mercedes AMG updated the E63S all-wheel drive system for the latest sedan and now this wagon with a newly variable front-to-rear torque split. The car's predecessors apportioned torque in a fixed ratio. This enables the system to shove up to 100% of engine torque to the rear axle or to apportion more than 50% to the front for more grip as conditions dictate. Further encouraging sideways antics. AMG offers a new backdoor sequence by which drivers can lock the E63 into a rear-drive-only mode. Twist the drive mode selector from comfort past sport and sport and to race, disengage stability control, and briefly tug both steering wheel shift paddles simultaneously to call up this hooligan setting known as drift mode. This should satiate AMG's existing customers who've suffered with bountiful traction ever since the E63 adopted all-wheel drive. AMG also fits the E63 with an electronically controlled limited slip rear differential to help lay the power down, whether in all or rear wheel drive modes. The brakes are appropriately uprated for increased stopping power, with massive 15.4 inch vented rotors clasped by 6 piston calipers up front while 14.2 inch discs are featured in back.